Jason from Stormbringer. I'm sitting here with one of the best metal singers in the world, Sir Russell Elm from Adrenaline Mob. Thank you. You're too kind. You're too kind. Russell, good to see you in Vienna. It was a great show. How is touring so far? It's been amazing. We've been, we've been really blown away by the response of the fans um, every night. And uh, it's, it's an energy that, that reminds me of when I first started, you know, years ago with, uh, with Symphony X. And, and I, I can't believe, like, just the raw uh, emotion from the audiences every night. We didn't know what to expect when we came here. Uh, we figured this band would appeal more to our home country in, uh, in America, and uh, we've done very well there. But but the response here is just amazing, you know. So I think uh, I think the tour so far is going better than expected, and and there's something happening with this band, you know, something special. So we could see it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I think you had a great fun on stage. Yeah, a lot of fun. That that's what this band's all about. Uh, we have really good songs. But we have a really good time doing those songs, mm -hmm. and uh, and that's what the mob is all about: good time, high energy sh uh, rock show, uh, with a heavier kind of a metal metal feel to it. But the band is just on fire, and um, and we're uh, we're burning up the stage every night on this tour. It's been great. With Adrenaline Mob, you established a new band besides Symphony X. How did the group come to life? Well, uh, Mike Orlando and I uh, started uh, working on the material um, uh, during the time that we were also working on my solo record together. Uh, he and I had been working on my solo material for a few years uh, in my breaks with Symphony X, on my breaks, I should say. And uh, then um, what happened was uh, we got a little burned out on the, on the stuff because uh, that was our introduction to each other, um, working together on my solo material. Uh, and uh, I mean, they, I call it a solo album, but it's really me and him. I, you know, I'm I'm a collaborative guy. So I mean, uh, me and him worked on the material together, and we just kind of got to a point where we needed to take a break from it. He said, "Hey, I've got this active, uh, what what they call active rock, you know, material or sort of mainstream stuff." I said, "Well, I'll definitely, you know, give it a go. Let's see what we do with it, to, to just to change it up, you know." And um, he helped me with my stuff. I wanted to help him. Uh, we became friends first before we started working together, so that was a really positive thing. And then we started getting some songs together based on some of the material that he already had um, been working on for a while. Um, and I just sang it, added some harmonies and changed a few lyrics and some arrangement stuff, helped him produce it. And then boom, we got all, all this attention all of a sudden from, from the industry. And uh, they said, well, we, we want to hear more, we want to hear more. So we started uh, writing uh, songs. Uh, we start, uh, The third song we wrote together was All on the Line uh, for, the, uh, for the album. And just, whoa, then we knew something was going on. Um, and. Um, that's that's kind of how it happened, and and then when we got a lot of material together, uh, I think after Undaunted, when we got Undaunted finished, uh, we uh, I, I I we were starting to talk about well who do we get in the band, and so I said well let me call Mike Portnoy. I mean uh, me and him have been talking for a long time about doing something, uh, and I wasn't sure uh, you know whether he'd be into it or not, uh, and I know fans were expecting something different from us, but uh, I sent him Undaunted, and uh, about 30 seconds later. <laughs> I got an email back with the capital letters "I'm in." That was it. <laughs> that was that was it. And so Sounds then we started great. feeding him more material. Material, and he's like, "Oh my God! Every song is just a, 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 you know a home run. A, what's you know?" I'm like, "Yeah, this this is really happening. This this some specials happening." And of course, you know, we we got an offer to go out with Godsmack, and we didn't have a record finished. So then we we rushed to put the EP out just to have something in the market. Uh, we got Rich and Paul. Uh, luckily, they were available uh, to do to do our initial touring, and uh, you know, eventually, of course, they went on to and they're doing Fozzy now because Rich had all his other, you know, uh, engagements with them, and and he had already had his commitments with with Chris Jericho and stuff, and we're all friends and stuff, so it's like okay, you know, you guys got your thing, it's cool, and luckily, uh, John Moyer uh, happened to be available. Too, and, and so we passed it by him and see if he'd be into it because we have kind of some songs that might that kind of you could say might sound like disturbed a little bit or kind of fit maybe in his world and and uh, he came on board you know 110 percent as well it's like I love this I, I really want to do it so that's kind of how the mob you know this for, version of the mob this this is the mob now mm -hmm. uh, we tried a five piece it was cool but the four piece is way better uh, it just reminds me of old school you know, uh, power four piece, uh, Zeppelin, Van Halen. You know, even Disturbed. I think it was a f yeah, the four piece. Um, you know, um, 
uh, that that sound is just so cool. One guitar player, one bass player, drummer, one vocal, you know, and uh, it's just powerful. So uh, that's kind of how the whole band came together, you know, mm -hmm. uh, kind of just friends and music just happened. Music makes it happen. The friendships are there. The music just kind of brought us brought us all together. Played with Symphony X in bigger halls. Mike did the same thing with, with Dream Theater and Avenged Sevenfold. Not to speak about John, uh, with his multi platin rock is disturbed. Yeah. How challenging is it now for you to establish a new band on tour in smaller clubs, like you do this now? I, I think in the beginning we were thinking the worst, uh, you know, to be honest with you, that, that we didn't know what we were getting into. But we knew the songs were good. We knew that the uh, energy of the band uh, is amazing and it's undeniable. So uh, you, you got to kind of put faith in yourself, and you got to put your money where your mouth is, and you got to go out there and you got to kick ass, and mm -hmm. you got to see what happens. Um, the expectations were not that great in the beginning. I think we all kind of thought, you know, what could we really do with this? We knew the music was great, but the odds are against us because of the past success of the other acts. Supergroups are very rare that they do succeed, but we we are trying like hell to break that 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 mold, you know. We feel we have a strong album with real songs that have real emotion and real heart, and uh, and and we just happen to have really good players, you know, from really successful bands that are doing it. So the response has been incredible. There's something happening here. It's real, uh, and it's starting to take hold. People are starting to see what the mob is all about, and and uh, they're starting to get the whole mob thing. You know, this is a family kind of a vibe. We're just a gang of guys out there fighting the world because the world is against us in a lot of ways. Uh, it's not normal for, for guys to come together at our, this stage in our careers and build something from scratch again. You know, but it's it's been exhilarating. It's been fun. It's been. Um, and an exciting ride so far. We've already had a lot of ups and downs, and uh, you know, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and we're enjoying the ride. But it is it is a challenge to, to say the least to bring something out of the grave again. You know what I mean? So it's pretty cool. Okay. To your new album, Omerta means professional secrecy and is part of Mafia's code of honor. Why did you choose this title for your album? Well, it kind of speaks to our commitment to each other. I mean, we're. Uh, we're we're men who who uh, who have a, a, a certain uh, uh, blood oath that we've taken, you know, to be together. Um, rock and roll and heavy metal is a is it can be a very dark world, you know, and uh, we ride those 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 waters, you know, uh, together. And the whole idea of us being a family or a mob or taking this this oath together is a, our commitment to each other uh, that we're not going to give up on this. That this isn't some fly-by-night project. That this really is a band, and that was one of the cool things about the Omerta, um, you know, thing for us was to, to take this mob sort of ethic. Like once you're in the mob, you're never going to get out of it. You know, we're committed to this, so that's why we we chose that, and and it means a lot to us. You know, we we really mean it. We're really trying to get the word out there and tell people this is something real and who knows how long it's going to last so you know because no mob really lasts forever you know all the all the all the guys who ever had careers in <laughs> you know in the mob you know they were lucky if they made it you know into their 30s let alone 40s or 50s or you know whatever i mean the movies of course all the bad guys always die in the end so who knows if we go out and blaze of glory great you know but but either way we're we're going to burn that fuel as hot and as for as long as we can and uh, and we're we're committed to it. We're we're bonded together. Cool. Covering the rain, the rain's come and done. How come? <laughs> I you know I got to give it to Orlando. That's his uh, idea, and and he really uh, thought it would be cool to do. He loved the dark overtones of that song. He felt that 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 haunting sort of a vibe could be could be done in a heavy metal song. So. You know, at first I was like, okay, he pitched me on it. And I, I was like, I watched the video. I'm like, dude, are you crazy, man? I mean, who the fuck is going to take us seriously with this? And then I don't know why, but something clicked in me. And I was like thinking typo negative and what Pete Steele would have done or whatever. And, I'm, and then it started to hit me like, I think I hear something. So then we started working on it and started working with his riffs and or how he was playing it. And I really wanted to keep the original bass line and, and then Portna kind of kind of wanted a little more bounce in it and more, you know, so we lost a few notes here and there to make it a little more heavy. Uh, and then uh, the vocals started to have, I did a, a octave vocal and, and I distorted the high one and we started to mix the song and it really started to sound like something. And of course Lizzie Hale came in later and uh, she heard our version of it without her and was just blown away and, and she got back to us and she was so 
into doing it, you know, Portnoy had reached out to her, and uh, she's just my she's my favorite female singer out there right now. She's just so damn good, and uh, I love her voice. I, I, she's a powerful woman, a powerful female singer. I, I'm a powerful male singer, so for me, it's very attractive. The two voices blend really well together, and uh, the song is just epic. It's it's great, you know. Yeah. I also think so. <laughs> yeah, that's killer. Uh, which is your favorite track on the album? Uh, All on the Line is is my personal favorite, just because it's really a close song to me. For me personally, it has a lot to do with uh, how I've been dealing with, uh, you know, my life right now and the challenges that my, me and my family are facing. Uh, my daughter is autistic, so uh, it's it's been uh, a real wake up call for for me just to do my best and to and to do everything I can to to help her and to. Help uh, you know to help anybody out there who's kind of dealing with this. I mean, the song is just how I feel about it. I'm going to lay it on the line. I'm going to do all I can to better my myself and my life for for her, uh, so she inspires me. And uh, you know, it's a it's a tough thing to deal with. And any parents out there who are dealing with this is uh, can relate to what I'm what I'm talking about. And uh, you know. I want to. I, I want to. I talk to my wife about this, and I really am into raising awareness uh, about it because a lot of people just don't know what it is. You know, they just see a child acting up in a store or something in a public place, and they think, "Oh, that kid's you know not disciplined or something." That's not. That's not what it is. It's a much deeper problem, very serious, and and we're we're uh, you know we're committed to raising awareness to it. But uh, the song, you know, just happened to be to come out like that because that's what I was going through at the time. My daughter was not really talking to me and uh, couldn't she wouldn't say hello uh, she wouldn't you know we just had no no interaction with her at all and it was heartbreaking you know so and you always have the question there whether or not you're ever going to have that connection with your child and uh, you know it's a tough thing to deal with and some people never do we were lucky that she's improving with the therapy that she gets and stuff but you know the song is um, some nights I can't it's really hard for me to get through it you know but uh, that's my favorite I mean you know it's it's a personal song for me so you know would you like to add something for the Austrian fans? Uh, I want to thank the Austrian fans for coming out tonight. Uh, it was an incredible show. Uh, very hot, sweaty show. I'm still sweating, <laughs> even though I've showered like twice. It was amazing. I mean, uh, you have such a beautiful country, and this city is one of my favorite cities in Europe to be in. And I was uh, so fortunate today to have a beautiful weather weather here to walk around and enjoy this beautiful place. Uh, it's such a such a cool place to be, and uh, I can't thank the fans enough. And and I can't wait to come back. You know, I really hope that uh, you'll have us back soon, and and uh, we we would love to be here again. So it's an honor to be here. We would love it too. Yeah, I shall bring the family out to be with you again, yeah. my my soldiers <laughs> of the mob. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Time. Thank you.